The Law of Attraction. Dan Lee emailed me his book, The Law of Attraction Made Simple. Manifesto. I'm sharing mention below four avoids and five to do to make the law of attraction work for you. And identify from his sent book. First, avoid. Number one, lack of clarity. Number two, incongruence or misalignment. Number three, low frequency or negativity. Number four, lack of effective actions. Follow the right strategy to take action without any fear of failure or fear of success. Learn, refine, regroup your energy from every taken action. Now to do number one, get clear on what you want. Visualize briefly as you want to see it in real life to be happen for you. Clearly print in your mind what you want. Number two, detach yourself from the outcome. Desperation can push away others or your dreams. Number three, get a mentor or coach. Number four, subconscious and conscious mind. Subconscious and conscious mind con congruence, alignment. Subconscious and conscious mind congruence, alignment. Do alignment. Congruence between your mind and subconscious. Number five, be in a higher energy frequency. Add feelings and emotions. Trust, firm desire and concentration can charge your mind with high frequency. My best possible effort here is to print the law of attraction in your mind and subconscious so that it can work automatically for you. Not just telling you only what the law of attraction is. If you can read it as many times as you can, especially before sleeping, then you can get wonderful results. Now you have learned how to clear and control your mind. You are able to differentiate between helping thoughts and hurting, diverting and negative thoughts. Keep your beautifully written gratitude list near to you. Feed them again and again in your mind. Revise the list every night before sleeping. Plant them from your strongest, happier point to weakest side of your mind and life. Develop a habit to be happy. Develop a habit to be happy. Write down your life plan, what you want, your longings and what actions you are going to take to achieve. Turn your mind and subconscious for your life plan time by time. Tune your mind time by time for your conscious and subconscious mind. Now law of attraction is going to start working for you. Write without using not or do not words. It must be purely in positive sense your longings. First of all, realize that you are more than your body and soul. Your primordial reality is far greater and infinite. Your infinite light and power are in your body. So your outer look and other specification should not limit your thoughts and your value. You are VVIP. Believe and learn to know that you are actually a, actually a light as out from a projector. Value your insight infinity. You are a unique and the greatest creation. That is why you deserve the very best. Whatever you think and want want so much deeply badly comes into your life. Remove all the fears from you, not only the fear of failure, but also the fear of success. Second, connect to yours 
inner light with the main source of energy light go towards the projector when it aligned you will get whatever you ask align like a shooter eye pointer eye pointer and object in the same line take your thoughts higher above the sky gradually and constantly it is unfinishing journey every time you get connected you will discover new stage carry on sit at the peak on the top where you reach in your thoughts fix your life fix your life from there when you go higher and then see from that what problem you have where you read in your thought fix your life from there enlighten yourself more and more uncover your caged in body light as we open an onion layer by layer realize you are the greatest creation on the planet self actualization is mankind's primordial reality i'm telling you this spiritual intelligence at this stage must seek a spiritual intelligent mentor if you don't have one or if you have any experiences then don't share it with people third treat your inner child as you as you would protect treat and entertain your own child be happy always like children are happy without reason happiness attracts more happiness make it habit remove complaints from your life if you want to be happy so what you want to attract happiness success money a faithful soulmate or sadness failure lack of money or cheating partner whatever you believe and think repeatedly concentrate strongly that happens so think wisely and positively you are not a cheap person so think uh, you are not a cheap person who think cheap are are you if you change yourself you can become high and valued person by thinking positively great fourth choose your thought very carefully refine them differentiate them are they helping or hurting thoughts diminish and remove hurting thoughts and and take them as challenge to go opposite towards creating helping thoughts replace neg- negative with positive thoughts as much as negativity as much you should create strong positive thoughts take revenge from negative thoughts by replacing them with stronger positive thoughts it is a challenge for you in everyday life think you are in a football ground opposite team is trying to defeat you but you want to win be strong do more practice increase your stamina learn new skills for playing to win good football player never leave the ball by thinking this that they, he cannot take it forward or cannot do score no 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 they are even they try even they face difficulty they get up if they fell down winner or loser it doesn't matter a teams well playing get appreciation anyway carry on playing is vital keep going is counted losing one match or winning one match is not everything losing one match or winning one match remember this losing or winning is not everything that is how they earn money fame including self satisfaction and happiness which increase players confidence more and more you can do the same in life increase your confidence every day by staying on the pitch i was captain of football handball and rowing teams in university and was was awarded role of honor in sports i never thought of losing or winning most of the time i just enter the field to play with great sportsman spirit deep inside me i knew i am a good player 
because people appreciated my game i know inside my conscious and subconscious mind i will do score whenever i got the moment to create opportunity i was playing to create the opportunity which leaded me to increase my scores i don't remember that if i did not do any score in the match but remember the most of the greatest moments of me doing scores in the unbelievable moments most of the goal i have done in tough it and difficult situation because challenging situation makes me stronger <coughs> excuse me as much bigger the challenge or tough situation are as big the inner responses are if you realize and accept the challenge opposite team players try to limit my movements when they know that i was the highest and main scorer even they try to injure me but i got up with smile to continue playing and did score i never hit back or pushed back to those who hit me or pushed at the ground instead i was using all my energy to concentrate on playing with sportsman spirit to reach the goal score their negative action were limiting them remember this their negative action were limiting them because of their fear of reaction that were my revenge to leaving them on their own limiting fear it was creating more freedom and opportunity for me to do score i just smiled on in response and become happy on my sportsman spirit and was rewarded by score it came in the national newspapers that i was the highest score in university football championship league i do not waste my energy on fighting back negativity with those who hurt me or try to hurt me but i use my energy and power in the positively professionally or you can say cleverly and wisely this is a real wisdom for success and peace in real life i do the same when someone is doing too much then if i decided to respond i respond with full power so that other person learn the lesson <coughs> so then other person will learn the lesson as churchill said if you stop to start throwing stones on every dog who bark at you you will never reach your destination i read this few years back but i knew this reality many years before long time ago staying positive calm and in control can take you to your destination it can help you to achieve your goals so stay positive in every kind of situation it will keep you calm happy and hopeful then you will attract all these automatically for example peace and happiness <coughs> excuse me that is the law that is what the law of attraction does happiness attracts more happiness whenever you feel fear it causes to lose lose belief and unaligned mind with subconscious resulted in missing the goal or dream i realize this fear is our enemy as long as we are not going against any laws including the law of nature to be aligned and to congruence with mind and subconscious mind can bring success in the telephonic conference sonia ricotti and mary morris says number 1 figure out limiting belief and negativeness shift them for love peace joy and gratitude turn the negativeness or thoughts into positive to attract positive energy if you are attracting negative energy if you are attracting negative energy shift them to attract positive energy it will elevate your vibration number 2 living in the moment can keep stress away from you Sonia Ricotti says you have access to peace every minute every day as long as you are living in the present moment always remember now this moment is your life so live it if you constantly living in the past or the future you are not living in the moment 
when you are out of the moment worries come up and causes stress del carnegie also said live in a day tight compartment mean live in the present day number 3 when things go wrong focus on what is still right in life by realizing this aren't you blessed till got other things right always think what is going on right if nothing is right comes in your mind stay away for a while from the situation our thinking process control your mind that's the moment where you have to control your mind emotional resilience be emotional resilient on that point control your mind for not thinking anything for a while number 4 reprogram your conscious mind when something go wrong feel emotion sad angry etc thought is causing pain whatever is going on reprogram it by replacing positive number 5 reprogram your subconscious mind by shifting your subconscious mind by saying my thoughts causing me suffer my thoughts causing me uh, causing my suffering shift my thoughts and i will shift and change my life remember this number 1 emotional discord could create mental confusion set expectation aside and focus on what feels good to you the aggressive pursuit and desire are the attempt to bend the universe to ones will attract resistance and conflict rather than abundance number 2 keep connect with your inner self even during stress time to keep in tune with your energetic guidance system number 3 tune your thoughts with inner self for the life you want not with you don't want number 4 develop the power of intention without any doubt number 5 give time to the universe don't rush for the outcome number 6 take deep breath and bring any gratitude thought in your heart then expand the happy feelings in your whole body number 7 trying to analyze why and how anything can be attracted by thoughts will only create doubt and frustration not the future that is desired number 8 some people are battling and glittering in life some people are littering in life those who battle wisely can achieve happiness but those who are littering not only misuses the opportunity but also waste on and others time and valuables identify including yourself who is battling and glittering and who is literally try your best to stay away from these kind of people look in the mirror if your eyes are glittering if your eyes are glittering it means you did something right but when you do something and your eyes are not glittering in the mirror it means you didn't do right number 9 finding out on positive and negative can help you to understand your strength and weaknesses think about the pain one side is black and the burnt with fire while other side of the pan is ready to cook food for you negative burns positive cooks same way you use your negative to turn into positive to strengthen you or do let them go exercise to get rid of them you can change your negative energy into positive by going against or using opposite side of it also strengthen your positive after finding out them by updating polishing learning new skills using your realized potential maximize it find the ways to maximizing and wisely using the all of them a few examples of positive and negative qualities are mentioned here positive strengths self motivated innovative assertive energetic emphasize uniqueness ambitious determined progressive active instinctual curious original creative quick to take the lead bold generous self reliant forthright compassionate and tolerant and negative are 
egocentric, egocentric, aggressive, lack of self esteem, arrogant, critical, aloof, not believe in positive outcomes, intolerance, stubborn, brooding, strict, and uh, logical, does not believe in positive outcomes, fearful, distant, critical, aloof, crafty, faithless, manipulative, overly analytical, unsocial, argumentative, distrustful, withdrawn, quietly angry, secretive. And uh, the last part is physical fitness. Different ex exercises for 15 to 20 minutes every day make it habit for a healthy living to be grounded and to get access to subconscious. Get connected, go to the nature in power, take deep breaths, spend time near water and hold a tree, a branch or metal fitted in bench. It can make you physically and spiritually good. Spiritual well-being and spiritual intelligence are not only vital for emotional intelligence but also for emotional hygiene. The difference between both is slightly outer self and inner self. Having well-being is not enough. The spiritual power to be understood and used it in a wisely manner, positively, we can lead to a very happy and content life. Furthermore, it can also help to manifest effectively.